To this day, fans continue to enjoy that 70s show. It was one of those timeless sitcoms that will last forever. Heck, fans are still coming up with theories about the show, like if Donna and Eric actually ever ended up together. Fans can get excited, as a lot of the familiar faces will be appearing on that 90s show. That includes Laura Prepon, who made quite the name for herself on the original. We'll take a look at her audition for the program, along with why she was forced into dyeing her hair twice, both at the start and towards the end of the series. The cast of that 70s show were all extremely young when it made its network TV debut. Mila Kunis lied about her age, while Fez was still in high school, nonetheless, they meshed extremely well together, and that included Laura Prepon as Donna. According to the actress, she cemented her position on the show after a memorable last two words. One of the things that's really funny is later after I got on the show, I had said to our creators, Bonnie and Terry Turner, what was the thing that made you know that I was Donna? She recalls alongside you. They said, first of all, when you came in, you just were Donna. You were Donna Pinciotti, you were perfect for her. And at the end of the audition, I looked at them and I said, we good? And I put my hands on the table, and I pushed off like a total tomboy. It was just how I got up from my table. They said that sealed the deal. Looking back at the earlier seasons, Prepon admitted that it is quite surreal to see how young the cast was at the start, though it didn't feel that way, while shooting the series. We were like, I don't know, 20 when we did this scene, and we look like little babies. It's so funny how when you are 20 you feel like you know everything. The show thrives.